All right, folks. Tonight, I want to share with you a very typical textbook bullish setup for an entry. When something like this happens pre-market, you have to know that this needs to be in your toolbox in order for you to be able to play it. Now, this was the XOM play call this morning. The pre-market activity showed action above 59.4. And why is this 59.4 important? I'm showing you this. Look, first of all, 59.4 is a line that exists from, look, I'm scrolling back here. There was support and then it fell below um, in early 2020. Then it started coming back up. It blew through it and rejected it and then it came back down. So basically we're opening above the 5940 and this is why it's important. And there's room all the way to 62 before anything stops it from going up. So I'm closing in, zooming in here on, on 5940 and it's 5940 and also 59.48. Why? This is the high that happened. High that happened at 59.48 and then it rejected 59.40. I mean, we're very close. It's eight cents apart. However, look at how it's important. This is only a few days back, right? Again, this is Tuesday, which is yesterday. That 59.48 Rejected, and then again, 59.40. Let me zoom in here. 59.40 rejected it. And then look at what happened after hours and pre-market. It went above it. So basically, this is the typical move. And this is what, why I'm telling you that this is a typical move that you need to have in your toolbox and you need to be able to see it. Look what it does. Basically, you have a resistance line the ticker is trading under the resistance line every time it hits it it gets rejected so that's what it does and then one day gets through it so basically every time it hit that line we were in sellers territory computers and traders were saying well this is the line we're selling as soon as we get above it these guys no longer have a reason for selling because they're above their, the original um, selling point. So now we're above it. What's going to happen? Either we shoot through, right through it, or we come down to test the line, support, and then we shoot back up. Look what happened today. We were opening above it. We went to the line, 59.48. And the yellow line is 59.40. This is why I told you it was important. We, we went right on it and then started going up, going up. So basically, this is a very typical move. You will see these moves very often. Um, obviously, you need to be bullish on the, uh, on, on the play. We were bullish on XOM. Um, I believe that there will be a strong demand in gas um, over the next few months. And I believe XOM is going to take uh, some, uh, some good profit out of that. So this setup is prior resistance, hitting a top and then through it, down to test it, and up. And we tested it right at the gate and up afterwards. So we alerted here, the 60C, because 60 was the resistance that we had um, pre-market. So anything above it was just gravy. So 60 calls for next week, we alerted at 69 cents, and we ended up selling half in this area when we were, um, a little above 100 percent so we still have half our position 
uh, position for the uh, rest of the move. But the idea behind all this is you have to remember that when this happens and when you have very little resistance above head, um, we come down to test it and then it shoots up. When, um, let me show you something. This is a typical move. Imagine this. We go up against it, and then we go through it, right? This is pre-market. And then this is a pre-market high. And then right at the gate, instead of coming down to test it and going up, we do the opposite. We go higher. Now you have to look back. What's the, what's the resistance? What's the resistance point? In this particular case, the resistance point is very close to 62. No way we're going to get to 62 on this spike. We could have, but we're not. We went down, tested, get through it. In the event where we were to shoot through this is pre-market resistance. Shoot through and come back down. Sometimes you will see all the way down to hold support. So this, as you break through the old pre-market resistance, you would say, oh, this is, this is where I get in because we're now in buyer's territory. Now this is the fake out. These are the tough ones. You have to look back. Is there any resistance point that we need to be aware of? If we get through the resistance point, then it's gonna move further. If not, if it gets rejected, then you can move and look for something further down to find support on the way down. In this particular case, XOM did textbook rejecting prior to today move above on the uh, pre-market came down the tesla line and went to shoot up all the way up so um this was the xom textbook explanation now this is the nvidia play comparing both plays the XOM and NVIDIA is just to show you how when you have a tool in your toolbox, you saw XOM being bullish, broke through the line, came down to test it and took off. Now in this particular case, we were trying to find a bottom on NVIDIA and we had an analyst initiating cover coverage on it this morning with a PT of 800. Um, this means some bullish move for uh, NVIDIA. Now you have to take your time, look at it. And this is what happened. I'm not going to cheat. This is the chart, what it looked like before the market opened. So you know it started to tank at a certain point. And that certain point is right there. That's where it started to tank yesterday. Uh, well, if you call it on Wednesday before the market, and then it started to tank. Um, that was the support before the big, the big drop. Now, at the open this morning, this line, we're bullish because we're above it. So basically, whatever happened yesterday is now behind us. So one would think that if we stay above that, we remain bullish. So as soon as the market opened, look what happened. It started taking off. It started moving up above it. And literally, I was kind of bullish on the play saying okay now it's going to take off remember what i said on um on the xom play 
this is the line we were on well in this particular case we were here dropped under went up tested it and then we're taking off this is what it looks like right now however i said be aware of what happened here is there resistance is there something let's say it was like this is there a resistance point that could oh, let me start this over again sorry about this it dropped it's taking off is there a resistance point here that will stop it from going up further it's going to stop and then come down i said it could even drop further down and then move up again in this particular case um i'm going to show you there was this line 591.50 look at it this is what i meant see it dropped here however there was another line of support that should now add um, act as resistance and look what happened right at the gate it went to the line rejected it and came back down now i became very bullish on the play when it see this green line this long 200 EMA how it was resistance here um, and then it became support basically a lot of computers are trading so um, they use it for support and resistance as well so basically as soon as we touched it rejected we started moving up and then we really used this line as a support line so this is when we alerted the entry right here um, for the 610 because 610 could have been a long shot on a longer play but 610 for next week and this was alerted at 380 um, and I showed you the chart saying the top basically bridging back resistance back to the down to support back to the double top this is the clear double top basically as soon as you reach that either we do this and then up again test it and out or we reject it like we did today and down this rejection is going to happen because here it happened it's going to happen again unless you have like uh, extremely bullish news which we didn't have so that's the very good point very good area to take some profit so we took it off at 595 which uh, ended up being like uh, close to I believe 57 ish percent on the play so remember the XOM play was typical under above test it and up and this nvidia is a little different and it came down and then dropped then up now it's support then it goes up but up on a previous line you have to see these lines these lines have to be drawn in your charts before you start trading and then it went down in this particular case there was the long 200 EMA, went down to it, and then came back up the test the line. And this is where we took profit. So these tools need to be in your toolbox. And I hope you manage to learn something out of it and use them in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.